thank you so much for turning up to what I believe is the very first astronomy mini-conf ever to be held at an LCA. Um, obviously, there's a lot of crossover between um, the, uh, the IT nerd community and the space nerd, astronomy nerd community, and I'm pleased to see that you're all sitting in that part of the Venn diagram quite nicely. Um, I just wanted to thank uh, a few people before we got started. We've had some volunteers helping me out on organising this thing. Uh, Terry Dawson, who uh, is in the room, uh, Kim Horton, and also Sharon Hunnett have all been really um, uh, provided really valuable context within the astronomy community uh, and allowed me to kind of reach out to people. We have a great bunch of presenters. Sorry, was there a question? No? Okay. We have a great bunch of presenters for you today uh, and also myself. Um, we have Kirsten Gottschalk, who is sitting right here. She's going to talk uh, initially. Uh, she will be talking about uh, uh, the outreach and education stuff at uh, ICRA that is going on. I'll walk through some of the al alphabet soup acronyms in, uh, in just a minute. We also have Kevin Vinson, who is sitting right here. Um, he uh, also is part of ICRA, works at uh, UWA. Uh, and I'll put up the presentations that people will be doing very shortly as well. Uh, I'm going to be talking about Distro Astro, which is an um, a, a astronomy-focused distribution that's kind of a new thing that's in the works. Um, we also have Andrew Williams, who I think I saw before, Andrew as well. Uh, he's actually from Curtin, uh, and we'll be, um, we'll be talking about the MWA, the Mergers and Whitefield Array. Uh, Stephen Ord is going to be talking about some of the uh, large-scale data processing requirements in the, uh, the SKA project. And uh, Martin Kupak, which is, who's just over here, is going to be talking about the awesomely named Desert Fireball Network who are looking for fireballs in the desert, unsurprisingly. Uh, so, the alphabet soup that we have, ICRA is the International Centre for Radio Astronomy Research. Most of the people who will be presenting today are actually from ICRA or work with ICRA in some capacity. Uh, the MWA is the Murchison Widefield Array. Uh, that is a, a radio astronomy project uh, that is kind of a, it's not really the pathfinder for the SKA, but it is, a, it is a, a similar kind of technology and a lot of the technologies are being kind of proved out there. ASCAP is the Australian uh, Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder. Now that is explicitly intended as a pilot project for the SKA to um, develop and prove in the technologies that will be used there. The SKA itself is the Square Kilometre Array. What this means is that we will have thousands of radio telescopes spread across Australia and stretching through to, uh, to New Zealand. And there's also uh, similar um, uh, telescopes in South Africa as well. There was a competitive process to identify whether Australia or South Africa was going to run the project. In the end, they decided that we were all winners, so um, we're doing that. Um, the Square Kilometre Array is not a bunch of telescopes confined to a Square Kilometre area. It is a bunch of telescopes whose combined surface area is equivalent to one radio telescope that has a Square Kilometre of, um, of dish area, which gives us obviously a lot of um, sensitivity and resolution that uh, we haven't been able to get previously. And the DFN is the Desert Fireball Network. So these are the talks, this is the schedule. Obviously this is up on the, um, on the, the conference schedule as well. Um, the timing that we have basically, in a few minutes, um, Kirsten's gonna start talking about the ICRA projects uh, and all of the outreach and education that happens there. She is the outreach and education officer, so uh, she's well qualified to talk about this. Following on from that, Kevin Vinson will be talking about a thing called the Skynet POGS. Now the Skynet is a distributed computing process. Come on in, Andrew. Uh, I think we're going to need to get you through this way. Can you get through there? Alrighty. Uh, so the Skynet is um, a distributed computing pro uh, a program similar to, you would have heard of SETI at home, folding at home, these kind of projects. Uh, POGS is the PS1 Optical ga Galaxy Survey. They've moved from a browser-based um, technology to utilising the BOINC system, which um, all of the other projects use, or most of the other projects use, which makes it a lot easier to make contributions and, and uh, so forth. Uh, then we get lunch. You, well, then you go and buy whichever lunch you prefer. Um, after lunch uh, at 1.20, I'll be talking about Distro Astro. Um, I'll basically give you a bit of a state, uh, state of the uh, overview of the this current state of play with that project and a few demos of some of the apps that are actually in, the, um, in that distro for you. 
Uh, and one of the things I really want to do mostly is to enlist your aid and support in trying to help that project um, go forward and thrive. Uh, at 1.55, we have the session on monitor and control in the MWA, which Andrew will be talking about. Uh, he's built a lot of the systems there uh, and a lot of systems elsewhere as well in terms of um, uh, telescope control and uh, digital imaging, those sorts of things. Uh, we have a lightning talk session at 2.35, which uh, only runs for about 25 minutes. So I would encourage you to think about, obviously lightning talk sessions don't really happen unless uh, people are prepared to jump up and talk about what they're doing. Think about what it is that's uh, astronomy related or even vaguely astronomy related that you might be able to give a five minute, 10 minute presentation on. Uh, please come and find me during the, during the day at some point and we'll, um, we'll queue you up. Um, even if it's just some astrophotography that you've done or anything like that, uh, if you want to do a walkthrough of one of the, uh, you know, uh, of an ast astronomy app or something like that, that would be great. We break for afternoon tea. Uh, then we have Stephen Ord at 3.40 talking about supercomputing and data storage um, design for the SKA. He's worked on a lot of the design of systems, not just for the SKA, but also for the MWA, I think, Kevin, hasn't he? And, um, and the... Uh, oh, Stephen, hi, sorry. <laughs> I didn't realise you were there. Uh, so for the MWA and for ASCAP and stuff as well, haven't you? Uh, the MWA. Right, and the SKA. Okay. And then at 4.20, uh, Martin will be talking about the Desert Fireball Network. Um, there's actually, if you go out to SciTech while you're here at Perth, there's a little, uh, there's a little presentation about the, uh, the Desert Fireball Network. And Martin will actually have one of the cameras here that people can take a look at and see exactly what gear that they're working with. And again, at 5.05, we'll have another slot for lightning talks as well. So. That's the program for the day. Uh, thank you for coming, and I'll just hand over and get uh, Kirsten set up and do, do a little intro, and then we'll be on our way.